Hey guys, welcome back to the new vlog. So today I'm going to be taking you with me and showing you my arm workout, which includes my shoulders, biceps, and triceps, if you didn't know. So feel free to comment about how weak I am in this section below. That'll really make me feel better. But right now I gotta change because I can't can't work out in this. Alright, ready? Hang on, let me set you up. I don't I don't have long enough arms to hold you. I got tiny little arms. They have little freaking chipmunk arms or something. I don't even know what that means. Alright, can you see me? Is this is this giving you flashbacks? Ready? <laughs> I hope that worked because I'm not doing that again. So, oh, here's a little pro tip. If you're doing arms, you have to wear a cutoff. Otherwise, you're, you're going to get made fun of. If you're doing arms, just wear a cutoff. Keep that in mind. So this store, this store is actually magic. You, you don't know that it's magic, but trust me, it is. I see. I can teleport anywhere I want. Right now, I, so I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the gym. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Take me to the gym. Wow, it actually worked. All right, let's get into the workout. So before every workout, I start with my shoulder mobility exercises, which for me, they really help me stay injury free with at least my shoulders. If you know me, you know it's really difficult for me to not get injured, which I absolutely love. But right after that, it helps me get into my uh, workout better, I guess. And then right after that, I jump into my first superset, which pairs overhead French press with a dumbbell um, with the hammer curls, hammer bicep curls to be specific. And both of these I think were 10 reps. So I do light, medium, and heavy rep ranges. Light would be like 10 to 12 reps. Medium would be probably 8 to eight to 10 reps. And then the heavy is 6 to 8 reps or 4. And it's all dependent on how, all dep and it's all dependent on how the, um, how heavy the how heavy or light the weight is so obviously if the weight is heavy you're going to do less reps and if it's lighter you're going to do more reps i mean it's pretty simple to understand and then after that i jumped into my second um superset which paired dumbbell bent over dumbbell lat flies bent over dumbbell uh, bent over rear delt flies which are really great for developing upper lats as well as rear delts which if you don't know are in your shoulders and then i paired that with um tricep kickbacks which these really are good for toning and they also add a lot of volume to your workout and it's pretty controversial because a lot of guys think those are like girl exercises or whatever but I mean you gotta do what works and then after that I jumped I'm saying jumped a lot after that I hopped into my third set which was Arnold Press which I absolutely love as a movement I guess and it's probably one of the best shoulder exercises in my opinion and it just gives you a great pump and a great workout in general. So I did six reps to that. So that was obviously my heavy load, which I mean it should be. And then I paired that with the incline um, bicep curls. And these were 12 reps. So these are my heavy bicep. And these are on the high upper end of my rep range. And I'm pretty sure these are supinated. You can, uh, you can correct me in the comments below if you're smarter than I am. But I'm pretty sure those are supinated from reading Muscle and Fitness. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. So after I did that, I jumped into like, it wasn't a super set, but this was just a single set of um, shrugs, which usually I'd go like heavier weight. I only went with 60 pounds, I think. But I, I, as Dom said, I was too lazy to reach under or reach to the bottom rack and grab freaking 70s or whatever. So I just grabbed those, and it actually worked out. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So I did eight reps of these. So these are my medium shoulder, and these really help developing your traps as well as your shoulders and forearm and grip strength. So it's really just a great arm exercise. And then after that, I, I went to my last uh, superset, which paired preacher curls. It it's, might be hard for you to believe, but I forgot what preacher curls were called like 10 minutes ago when I searched the internet for like 15 minutes trying to figure out what they were called. So I did my single arm preacher curls, and you may be wondering why I don't just use a machine, but I mean, I think the isolation is better, and I like free movements um, doing it with a dumbbell compared to being constrained to a machine. So after, I'm, all right, I, I, I can see it. You guys are gonna like destroy me about how I'm doing half reps or whatever, but 
I mean, I th in my books, it's more important to do heavier weight and still get decent form than just focus completely on form, be super strict. Some of you may disagree, but I mean, that's just my thinking. And then after I just did my final set of diamond push-ups, which was only six reps with a 45 on, but that was just to finish off my workout. And as you can see right now, I'm barely in the frame, which is awesome, but I mean, that's, that's all I have. So this is like my fifth time, fifth, no, it's like my 20th time trying to film this voiceover, and I finally did it. So I'm sorry that it took so long. I mean, you're not going to know that it took so long, but thanks for watching the video. And I'm out. See you guys.